I thought we'd do a species profile on these Colombian tetras. So stay tuned and we'll talk a little bit more about them in just a moment. the tank that uh, I first put Colombian tetras in. I started out with about five or six of them. Uh, I can't recall which. I had had one for a long time and that's actually the tank boss where I can always see. I think it's this one that was just in the foreground right there. Uh, he kind of bullies the right. He doesn't bully. He's just the boss really. And um, I've had that one for like five years or so so they can live a significant amount of time if they're well taken care of uh, these fish are native to the Amazon and uh, I have heard I'd have to look it up to be sure that they are related to piranhas in some sense so that's gonna take me to one of my first points about these fish is they are not what I would call completely peaceful I would consider them semi-aggressive maybe on the lower end of semi-aggressive but they can be aggressive uh, this dominant one uh, used to be the only one I had left because I had an uncovered tank for several years and these will jump out if you do not have a lid so definitely make sure you've got a glass lid or at least something that's heavy and it's going to keep the fish contained because they will jump out uh, on accident so that ended up being the only one I had left for a long time before I had this fish room before I lived in uh, Richmond or in Virginia it was actually in Michigan and I kept it in a tank with some quarry cats for a long time and it got along with those quarries okay um, but then when I moved here I got a few bloodfin tetras that are in my 20 long and this fish would harass them with just constantly biting their fins nipping their fins chasing them around so I had to move him uh, as quickly as I could and it just so happened that I got this uh, this 29 a few days before and I was trying to cycle it before I put any fish in but I just went ahead and put this fish in and started with some uh, nitrifying bacteria um, from Seachem which I think is called stability is what I used there's several other products you can use also um, and it does work quite well I've used it several times I prefer to do a fish list cycle but you can do a fish cycle especially if you're using a starter product like that um, it, it's fine and the fish do fine yeah I don't really notice any stress but anyway so that is one of the points they are kind of aggressive and as you can see they're a schooling fish all right so let's talk a little bit more in depth about these fish now first here you're gonna see me feeding them some frozen baby brine shrimp they go nuts for that uh, these fish will pretty much eat anything you want to throw in the tank they like uh, frozen brine, baby brine shrimp, frozen blood worms, freeze-dried baby brine shrimp, freeze-dried blood worms. Uh, they like pellets. They like rapashi. So the basic point here is they're not picky at all. Uh, they'll eat pretty much anything you throw uh, in the tank. So pretty easy fish when that's, con when that's concerned. Also, they're a robust, a robust fish, so they don't have too many health problems in my experience. I've had fin rot one time, and that was mostly probably the result of the place I got them and I treated them successfully and they recovered fine so these are pretty tough fish in general now uh, tank size uh, I would say the minimum tank size you want to keep these fish in is going to be a 20 gallon tank whether that be a 20 high or a 20 long they would probably do fine in either of those setups in uh, within reason you know you don't have too many um, a 29 gallon tank I think is a good setup that's what this tank is here it's a 29 gallon tank uh, and of course you could go bigger anything bigger is fine 40 gallons 75 gallons depending on your tank mates now water parameters uh, you're gonna see a trend with these fish and they're not picky so most of your typical parameters are gonna be fine for these fish you wanna ideally have your ammonia at zero and your nitrite uh, nitrite nitrite at zero and your nitrate uh, somewhere at a reasonable level and these fish are going to do fine and same similarly the temperature that you can keep these fish in uh, is pretty uh, standard tropical fish temperatures so anywhere in those in those ranges you're going to be fine now these are sort of a big and aggressive tetra for a tetra 
Uh, so you can keep these fish with uh, some more aggressive tank mates and sort of a semi-aggressive tank setup would do fine uh, for these fish within reason. Now they're pretty long lived. I googled um, I googled their lifespan and it says three to five years but I have one that's five years old and doesn't look like it's going to die anytime soon so I think they can live longer than uh, five years and uh, maybe that information isn't readily available because apparently this is a newer tetra to the hobby so they haven't been around in the hobby all that long so perhaps they will live if well taken care of longer than five years which is a pretty good lifespan for uh, a tetra that you can pick up at PetSmart or Petco for two or three bucks if I recall correctly now breeding these fish is pretty easy I did it and I didn't even intend to do it so uh, you want to have a lot of plants so that the fish can hide and uh, pretty much let them go at it and they will they will breed. Right now the tank isn't really set up like I had it before when they did have babies. So uh, it's not ideal. Plus there's tank mates that will eat eggs like uh, a bristle bristlenose plucko and some snails. So right now they're not going to be doing much breeding. So to sum it up, this is a pretty cool fish. I think they look great. I like the red colors. I like the blue colors. I like the silver bodies. Just a pretty cool looking tetra. And it's just a large, tough, assertive tetra that's not picky. And uh, will do good in a lot of setups and will give you quite a bit of uh, viewing enjoyment. Uh, as you can see, they're voracious eaters. They go nuts every time you put the food in. In fact, I have to drop it in quick and shut the lid, otherwise they splash me with water. So they're pretty cool fish and uh, they would do good well in a lot of setups. So I would highly recommend if you haven't kept them before to give them a try.